Wow, what's up, Emily? Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Quick little video also with the podcast channel. Me and Darius, um, Darius moved to Boston. He's about to move to Africa. He's moving to Ghana. So I'm actually happy too because I actually get an excuse to go to Africa. But that's why we haven't been doing podcasts because he's no longer in California. So I just want to share it out there. A lot, of, a lot of people think something happened with me between me and him. Nothing happened. <laughs> it's funny how people think that. I know black people, they can never get along. There's always issues, but not with me, man. I always get along with everybody. Someone has an issue, then that's on them. But anyway, let's go with the message, uh, title of this video. So what to expect when you turn, when you hit your in your 30s. And I know a lot of you young, most people who watch my channel, they're younger. It shows my analyst, analytics. So I know this video is gonna be for you young, younger brothers in your 20s, and already been younger. Um, a lot of us, uh, when we're in our mid late twenties, we can't, we kind of get scared to turn 30, uh, because you know, that's old, right? That's what we think that's old, but really as a man, your life doesn't even start until you're in your thirties. See, men and women are different. A woman, her prime begins when she turns 18 and her prime ends, uh, depending on how she's living her life, how she takes care of her body. If she's living in willful sin, things of that sort, sleeping around, doing drugs, alcohol, partying. Uh, if a woman's doing all those things, her prime is gonna usually peak around 23 to 24. If a woman's taking care of herself, you know, not sleeping around, blah, 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 low body count or a virgin, her prime could go up to at least 27, 28. Uh, but nowadays here in Babylon, AKA America, it's usually around 23, 24 is when a woman's prime hits the peak. And after that, she's just totally defiled, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, things of that sort. So. As a man, your prime doesn't begin until you're 30. And I just turned 31, guys. And in my 20s, I want to say I started my self-improvement journey when I was 21. I think I was 21. 20, yeah, 21, 22. Uh, I was overweight, lost like 100, uh, 95 pounds. 100, I just say 100, 100 pounds. Um, I didn't watch no, there was no YouTube videos. There was no Instagram. There was Instagram, but there wasn't like nowadays on Instagram, you have all these influencers. You have all these like uh, personal trainers. Back then, like 10 years ago, it wasn't like that. Nowadays, it's like you have so much knowledge and wisdom, which is good. Put this to use, guys. A lot of us guys, uh, us older guys, we didn't have that, you know, back then. So you guys had the tools. You guys had the knowledge and wisdom from the older guys. And you know, you have all the information out there, but a lot of men, they just like to procrastinate, man. Procrastination is a death of dreams. I gotta cross the street real quick, hold on. Procrastination is a death of dreams, guys, I'm telling you. I know so many men, and when I was in my 20s, who I was friends with, or people I was just associated with, people I was around, they usually talked about, they talked about their dreams or goals and what they wanted to do. But I want to be honest, guys, nine times out of 10, it was just talk. They never had any actions to back it up. They talked about their plans, what they, you know, their goals and stuff like that. And that's why I came to realization at a young age, when you got good, uh, big plans and things you got to do or things you want to do, don't tell nobody, just, just do, do it. And, and then the results will show. And so, yeah, that's number one, guys. Your prime doesn't start until your 30s. So it's, you should embrace it. You know, now you don't want to rush to get into your thirties. Enjoy your youth, have fun. You know, even the Bible says that in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse eight to eleven, somewhere in that, it's either yeah, I think it's in that chapter towards the end where it says, "Enjoy thy youth, the days while are vanity and, and darkness," something like that. And uh, you know, so yeah, read your Bible too. Read Proverbs, you guys. You want to acquire so much wisdom in your twenties? I'm telling you guys, this is the cheat code to life. If you're on your self-improvement journey and you're putting God first, even though you're, man, I'm telling you guys, even though you're in sin, stuff like that, right? Now, I'm not promoting sin, so please don't get the wrong message, but I'm just saying God has a lot of grace for us and he understands we're young, you know? Our days of youth are vanity and darkness. But if you put God first and you seek him with all your heart, mind, body, and soul, it's all baby steps, man. And, and I'm living proof of that, I'm, I'm a testimony. Even though I was in willful sin, man, I was doing wrong. God still had love for me, man. God still was there. Uh, but eventually, God calls you out of the world. You know, he called me out of the world when I was 25 years old. I'll never forget. And, you know, when you honor, when you follow God, when you, when you serve him, when you, when you do what he wants you to do, 
telling you guys, this, you're just gonna continue leveling up and people are gonna get left behind, man. Your friends, your family, your relationships. I had a girl I was with at the time. I was with her for like a little bit over a year. We're living together and stuff. And when God called me, I was telling her, hey, I was like, you know, we have to follow Jesus. We gotta, you know, start reading our Bible, stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, and we both met when we were in sin and stuff like that. You know, I was totally doing the wrong thing back then, but. And, uh, you know, I was telling her, yeah, we have to get right. And she said, dude, I, she said, no, like, I don't, I'm not following him, you know? And she started scoffing and stuff like that. So, I'm, so I had to let her go, man. I had to let her kick rocks. But God gave me a choice because she kept coming back in my life. I could have easily been like, all right, you know, this God stuff is born. Uh, you know, I want Jezebel. <laughs> you know, I could have easily said that. And I just wonder how my life would have been, man. Like, bad things would have happened. And God would have allowed the bad things to happen because, you know, disobedient. And, uh, you know, so I, I gave up everything, bro. I, I had, I was telling, we had, uh, dang it, dang it. Might F up the algorithm, man. <laughs> My bad. But I was selling tree at the time. And I, you know, I was like, dude, I'm not trying to live this life no more. And then, you know, I prayed, got on my knees and, you know, I was like, God, show me a way how I can make money and stuff like that. Cause I wanted to have a family at the time. And then I, God showed me about crypto. I bought my first Bitcoin when it was $2,000. As of this time of making this video, Bitcoin is now $68,000, guys. I bought my first Ethereum when it was, I think it was like 80 bucks, 100 or 80 bucks or something like that. Ethereum right now is, I think it's $3,500, $3,000, and th yeah, $3,500. And you see how God works, bro? He get, he, if you pray and ask, man, he, he, he finds a way. So just remember that. Don't be afraid to hit in your 30s and in your 20s. You know, always put God first in everything you do, guys you know no and even though you're living in sin and you know even though you're you know things of that sort always put them first man god will always provide a way out in due time when it's time for him to call you call you back home okay and also what do a lot of men like to do in their 20s especially this generation i don't know how it was back then you know i wasn't alive back then but you know for us 90 babies what were we doing we were chasing the dopamine chasing chasing women you know chasing o's you know keep it algorithm friendly that's what we were doing and man, i know a lot of guys man like who spent their life doing that who spent their 20s literally guys they went broke in debt i've never been in debt before like i've never you know never buy things i can't afford but a lot of these dudes they do that to impress an eve you don't want to be doing that man you absolutely don't want to be trying to impress the eve uh trying to buy her loyalty buy her love a lot of these dudes do that and uh you know speaking of that you want to be on semen retention in your 20s that is a must man no fap semen retention because at that at that age you don't want to be defiling yourself you don't want to be effing up your mind defiling yourself messing up your mind with pornography and touching yourself man because when you actually meet a female you know, and when you desire to get your wife and start a family, you're not gonna be able to get it up, man. I have stories of that happening to me. And it's not normal for you to be in your 20s at the peak of your testosterone and you can't get it up. So that's what happens when you're watching corn and touching yourself. So it's very important for a man, a young man, especially to not be watching corn. Corn is one of the most destructive things a man could be practicing in today's age, guys. So you gotta put away the corn, uh, stop touching yourself. And you know, I haven't watched corn guys. It's been about six, almost, yeah, six years, 2024, six years. 2018 is when I stopped watching it. And once you realize guys, like once you come into your senses, literally guys, this is how I stopped watching. This is how I was, I broke the strongholds, right? Now, of course, our glory to God and, and Jesus Christ, Yeshua, uh, for you know breaking the chains. But I just came into my senses like, dude, I'm watching another guy smash a chick and, it's, yeah, and I'm seeing his dingling and all that, right? and I'm getting myself off into that, that's that's gay, guys, that's gay, that's gay. So I came into my senses, like, I'm not watching this ish no more. And I do, I became more confident, I became more masculine, um, I just became more of a man, man. So I feel like it's very vital and important for men to abstain from, from pornography, from masturbation. So in your 20s, and now if you're like in your teenage years, that's important too. Okay, so next one up is make sure you have a trade. Make sure you have something that is going to make you income. You do not want to be relying on a nine to five. You do not, because if you're relying on a nine to five, you're relying on the system. And at any moment, the system, the beast could be like, hey, if you don't get this, 
you, lo you lose it. So having a trade is very, very important because if anything happens, like let's say for instance, right? You're a plumber, you're a technician, or you do some type of construction, you're a builder, right? Those are always gonna be in, in high value. You know, those are always gonna be in high demand. So if they come out with this, you know, you're your own boss, you know? So work and, and, and pray and ask God to show you, you know, do what you desire to do. Me, I love helping people. That's what I love to do. I always love to help people like, you know, and when I did help, when I was helping people, you know, with videos on YouTube, like I wasn't planning to make money. I just did that out of the kindness of my heart. Like that's just what I love to do. And then, you know, when I got on YouTube, I was making videos for three years, bro. I didn't make a single dollar, which was, I was cool with that. You know, so when you, when you find a trade and you do what you love to do, don't expect to make money the same day. Now, of course, if you do become a technician or a plumber, or stuff that so you're gonna get money the first day you know for the most part unless you got you know unless you had like the training but you'll get money fast you don't have to wait three years like i you know like i did but you know uh so yeah find a trade guys there's nothing wrong you know i see a lot of stuff in primitive youtubers or like oh you can't play video games or you can't do this and that dude listen guys there's always a time for everything nothing wrong with video games as long as you're not on you know sitting down 10 hours a day or even five hours a day you know, uh, when you become successful, you know, even though Elon Musk is totally demonic, right? I don't like that dude at all, but I gotta be keep it real. He plays, dude, the guy said he plays video games eight hours a day. And supposedly he runs seven of the biggest companies, which is cat. But um, no, yeah, he does run Tesla, but whatever, right? He says he plays video games eight hours a day. So like, you know, like when you become successful, you can play no matter how much you want. But that's not the point of this message. Here we go. <laughs> All right, how to cross the street. So, but anyways, what I would do, if what I know now, if I was in my 20s, and let's say if I was depressed or I was in a deep hole, what I would do, personally, is I would cut the video's games off. And then once I make some progress, once I, you know, start seeing results, then I'll start playing video games again. That's what I would do, but there's nothing wrong with playing video games. The thing is, a lot of people, they play video games, right? And a lot of these video games, the way they suck you in is because it's like a grind and those grind games are actually the funnest, but think about all that grind you should be doing in real life. World of Warcraft, RuneScape, Fortnite, uh, Madden, 2K, right? You're always grinding. You're always grinding, right? But think about all those grinding, all those hours you're putting on in a video game that's gonna be erased when the next Madden comes out next year or the next 2K comes out next year. You could be grinding for yourself for self-improvement, starting a business, gaining your income up, being a better father, being a better husband, or being a better man in general. You don't have to be married or nothing like that. But just think about all the hours you put in and things that you could put in into your growth, your own self-improvement. But there's nothing wrong with video games as long as you have a balance in life. Same thing with alcohol. Now, some people, they can't handle alcohol. They can't handle the spirits. So I would just, uh, if that's you, then, then don't even drink. But if you're the type of person who could have a beer or two and you could be cool with it, you don't desire more and like, you know, you know, you know your limit, you know, uh, you know, you never had like an addiction, alcohol addiction before. Then there's nothing wrong with you having a beer or two, but make sure when you're drinking a beer, it's after you're done with the day, after you finish the things you had to do, whatever goals and uh, plans you had to do, you finish that first and then you reward yourself. You have to treat your dopamine. A lot of people, they wake up and I used to do this. They wake up and the first thing they do, hitting the blunt. First thing they do, take talking to a female, blah, blah, listen, listen guys, eh, screw all that, man. I'm gonna keep it clean. <laughs> screw all that. That's only studying your own growth. Do the dopamines that build yourself up, not put yourself down, not, not destroy you. Because your fleshly addictions is gonna keep you at a lower state. It's gonna keep you stagnated. And you're just gonna be in a world full of pain, sorrow, and sufferings. So that's what I would recommend too. For all the men in the early 20s just make sure the first thing you do when you wake up is you know what can i do to better myself you know what can i do to better myself and like i said guys when you put god first pray and have him lead to you guys you can't do nothing without the holy spirit you can't do nothing without christ and god so you have to be keeping them first in your life okay all these red pullers you see on on youtube or the internet right uh they're all just telling you guys to build yourself up for a woman it's all links to E. These guys are the total, these guys are total sense, man. It, even if it's like, you know, even if it's like a guy like Andrew Tate, who the, the younger generation just looks up to, dude is a scent because everything he does is centered around a woman, bro. Go to the gym so you get a better B. Uh, make money so you get a better chick. Like, dude, screw all that, man. That's all vanity. You should go to the gym 
to, to, for your mental health to build you up. It should never be centered around a woman, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. Do things not for a woman. Do things because you love yourself. It's self-love. And there's nothing wrong with self-love. Okay, as long as like not in a narcissistic way or whatever. Anyways, so that's number one. Or I'm like a number three, number four. I don't know, guys. Someone time, time stamp it in the comments. <laughs> I'm out of order right now. But anyways. All right, next thing up, I'll recommend the circle you keep. Dude, this is so important, bro. The circle you keep. Okay, if you're around five losers, you're going to be the sixth one. If you're on five people who are on the self-improvement journey who are better in their lives, they may not be perfect and you're not either, right? But you know that you're seeing progress. Those are the people you're gonna surround yourself with. Or if you get lucky, if you get blessed and you're on people who are already successful, dude, stay around those people, guys. The most money I made was always when I was around people who were on a higher level than me. It's not even about the money. The most knowledge and wisdom and understanding and just my self-growth was always when i was around the people who are on a higher level than me the thing is a lot of people get jealous and envious when they're on somebody who's on a higher level than them so make sure you just remember that don't be jealous of someone who's next to you by your side who drives a nice whip he's in a new house uh he's just you know success right you should look you should be motivated and inspired like oh wow he got that i could get that too especially when he's around you so just be grateful when those people come in your life because 31 years of living my life I haven't had much people like that. I haven't had much people like that. So be grateful, man. That's a blessing from God when you have people, like-minded people or someone on a higher level than you who comes your way and, you know, puts you on with wisdom, knowledge, and understand. But a lot of people have that ego issue where when they see these type of people, they get, like, jealous and stuff. Like, dude, these, a lot of these people have demons, man, straight up. And those demons, speak about the next one, demons. Let's talk about that real quick. All right, remember, the Bible says that your youth is, is vanity and darkness, okay? Um... You don't want to be around demons and also you don't want to have demons yourself because you can have demons yourself too all right so um uh, my advice don't live in willful sin like you know try to fight against it uh you know build your spirit man daily man uh walk in the spirit so you won't feel the lust of the flesh and you know that's why i said when the people you're around and they really have an influence in your life um in your 20s you know a lot of people like to do in their 20s go to concerts and you know go smoke and stuff like that right you know but like what is that doing for your growth i understand you're young and you know you don't want to just be well work 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 all day it's always about a balance but you know if you just around someone who's just all their focuses on going to raves and concerts and trying to get at chicks like you don't want to be around those people when you're on your self-improvement journey because those people are detrimental to your growth and i'm speaking this for experience they're going to get you to go down their path too and then you're going to find yourself in months later, like, dang, like you just wasted four months of your life just so you could get a couple minutes of dopamine, a couple minutes of pleasure. It's never worth it. So, yeah, always keep that in mind. So uh, next one up. So remember, your friends, man, that should have been number one, man. The, the company you keep, man, you know, even the Bible says that evil communications corrupt good manners. So, you know, just meditate on the word of God, guys. You know, read your Bible daily, man. Try it. Even if it's just one chapter a day. So all remember, like I said earlier, guys, all baby steps, one chapter a day, man. Um, or, you know, more, if more, if better, you know, I remember I, when I was 10 years ago, I had a Bible app. It was like a pr daily Proverbs and I would always look at it every single day. And, um, you know, it's just that small stuff, man. A lot of people, they wake up and they look at their horoscopes, you know, wake up and look at a Bible verse, bro. You know, horoscopes are just, they're just falling angel stuff to keep you away from God, keep you away from the truth. So just remember guys, the Bible is the truth. It's, it's the way to go, man. So that'll lead you down the right path. Instruction, hearken to instruction, hearken to the voice of yeah of the lord so um yeah next thing up is travel um when you were you guys you gotta reward yourself man you gotta travel a lot of these dudes man they just they spend all their money in a club right and they wonder why they have no money like they wonder why they're broke but it's all going on 20 dollars shots they get in hotels they buy in tree um you know and they're doing this every weekend and and they wonder why they have no money so just remember that i'm gonna cross the street real quick hold up All right, just remember that, guys. Um, always keep that in mind. Um, when it comes to, you know, traveling, man. Traveling opened my eyes, bro. My first time leaving America, I went to Mexico in 2017. I went with my ex-girl at the time. And, my man, like, it's so different, man, to see the world. You see a whole different perspective of the world. You realize how blessed you are to be in America, even though Babylon's wicked and demonic. But, I mean, you got to think about people in Mexico when I was there. I mean, the weather was, it was so humid. It was so hot. 
literally guys my first touchdown in mexico my whole shirt was just drenched in sweat and i remember seeing people working there like working in hard labor guys building homes they told me they were making ten dollars a day bro like tears almost came down my eyes man ten dollars a day guys here in america people are complaining about them making you know i'm in california they're complaining about them making 15 20 dollars an hour and they want more an hour when those people over there are making that in a day so it just made me more grateful and like and i just you know gave me made me more thanks to god how the opportunity is man if you're in america dude and you're talking about you don't know you can't find opportunities that's cap that's cap because if you go overseas you realize man the opportunities there are very very limited you know so just keep that in mind man um so yeah travel man travel is not expensive as people think it is book your flights in advance like a month a uh, month in advance your hotels or if you want to get airbnbs um it's not expensive guys when you go overseas you realize how so much of a scam america is dude you could buy four tacos in mexico for eight i think it's like a dollar fifty when i went there i was in tulum last year it was a dollar fifty for a taco over here while i'm at in california it could be four dollars a taco <laughs> like guys what a scam bro it's such a scam but you know that's you know we're used to that in america we're used to getting scammed so yeah uh travel man travel you know and if you can't afford the flight overseas you know make sure you get your passport too think about it man we buy jordan's 200 bucks we buy nikes yeezys right 100 200 300 bucks a passport is 100 dollars, 150 dollars, or maybe cheaper like what's the excuse i gotta cross the street again like what's the excuse man there is none so yeah get your passport and um yeah absolutely man passport is the key and if you if you can't leave the country for whatever reason uh go to a different state it's cheaper too worst comes to worst you know let's say if you live in california go to chicago or if you live in florida you live in like atlanta go to california you know go to california go to vegas go to texas do something road trip or something man i'm telling you traveling is key even the bible says the man who travels uh, obtains much wisdom so uh yeah never be next one up too it just came to my head never be in a rush through life okay the bible says that your life is a vapor so life is is very short so if we have if we know we have a short life why would we rush it enjoy the moment like right now beautiful sunset coming down you see the uh whatever you call that again i forgot and it's just a beautiful day man it's perfect weather right now it's usually really hot where i'm at but it just feels good the wind's out and uh you see the you know the people playing soccer and i don't know just enjoy the little things in life man because hey there's people that are in jail and prison and they would do anything to have your spot right now your freedom so just be just be happy about that man um and yeah man so uh also keep the ten commandments of god man keep god's ten commandments very very important honor your mother and father when we're young you know some of us beef with our mom and dad you know and you know that's normal uh you know, not saying that's good but you know it's always gonna be times where there's gonna be you know times where you're you're gonna be mad at your mom or your dad but remember always honor your father and mother so you can live long in life whether you like them or not i see people telling me mark you know my mom's a witch a narcissist my dad's an abuser stuff like that hey man the bible says to honor them you know uh, so you just gotta obey obey the word man pray for them whatever the case may be you know my parents weren't perfect raising me but i still love them and uh you know um i used to have beef with my dad before he passed away this long story why why i did you know um but i'm very glad that you know before he passed away a couple months before he passed away uh we made we were on good terms so i'm very happy for that because if he would have died and i was on bad terms with him i would i would live with that forever man like I would, I would live on that forever and my sister when he passed away they were on bad terms and even so to this day she cries man because you know she my, my dad came to visit from florida when we we're in california she didn't want to say hi to him she didn't even want to see him and and when he came to knock on my door i didn't want to open it either but you know something in me you know i guess the holy spirit in me told you to open the door you know and uh yeah man i'm very happy i got to eat with him and you know he just passed away at a random time totally random guys like he just he was in perfect health and all of a sudden he gets a heart attack man so yeah that was sad and you know and all that also speaking of that heartbreaks when you're in your 20s that's gonna happen you want to get you know whether it's a family member or a relationship you want to get that heartbreak out the way at an earlier age after the heartbreak is a boss up after the heartbreak is when you level up and you use that pain use that 
man, that negativity or whatever the case may be, man. And you just transmute that into just, you know, you transmute it to become better, man. And so, yeah, just keep that in mind, man. Transmute that energy, that negative energy, that pain, that depression, that sorrow, that grief. Uh, just transmute it to be positive, brothers. You know, we got to be doing that. And sisters, too. This video is for, for men and women, you know. The reason why some of my videos may sound like it's just for men, because I kind of just speak on things that I went through, you know, and it, it could be more relatable to men. But truth be told, anybody can listen to this. So, yeah, self-improvement, man. This is what's going to keep your eyes on the prize. This is what's going to... Uh, help you stay away from the temptations it helped me and i'm speaking this from experience some people may disagree with it but look where i'm at in life i'm not to say i'm finished or anything like that but I, I i never thought i'd be where i'm at five years ago i just never thought that but hey in life you reap what you sow uh you continue sowing to your spirit you're gonna reap everlasting life and you sow into your flesh you're gonna reap corruption you're gonna reap uh, pain misery sorrow depression you know long term and things of that sort so you know you just got to pick who you're going to serve guys you're going to serve satan or you're going to serve the most high yeah uh, the most high god and his son jesus christ uh yashua so um yeah man just just honored and thankful and uh, i really want to see everybody become better you know a lot of us had look at this guys like look at this man it's just beautiful 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 you don't see this in the city the city you just see the fast life and you know sometimes when you when i'm walking I just like to sit down right here and just look at this, bro. This is so beautiful. This is a country. And um, yeah, man, God is great, man. God is great. Um, yeah, man. If I wasn't making a video right now, I really would just sit down and just kick it, bro. Look at the sunset. It's just a little things in life, man. Be charitable. Like uh, there's always something to do too. reprogram your brain. One last thing too. reprogram your mind, your brain. Okay, a lot of people, you got to understand, the Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. So what does that tell me? That tells me that in life, you could bring in blessings or you could bring in curses. And a lot of us at a young age, we're speaking unsubconsciously negativity, curses, death, sickness with our mouth, with the way we speak. So reprogram your mind and start speaking blessings. You know, I remember I started look, uh, doing affirmations and it, it helped out a lot. Now, you got to be careful because some of that stuff could be new age. So you have to you have wisdom and discernment to discern what's new age and what's not. You know, I'm seeing affirmations to attract a succubus like, dude, that's just demonic, bro. Um, nothing wrong with listening to affirmations and speaking blessings into your life. Speaking things that and make sure to. It's a car. Make sure everything aligns with God's will. Make sure everything aligns in your life is with God's will. And, uh, you know, I'm telling you guys, if, it, if it's God's will to do this and that, you're going to get it. And it's going to come at his timing. It might not come when you want it to come. And you got to be okay with that. It could come five, ten years later. But you got to trust in God's plan. You know, maybe the reason why you don't get it now is because you're not ready for it. You're not ready for that next level. And you got to be okay with that. You got to just continue growing. Continue being disciplined. You know, being a disciple of, of Christ, it means to be disciplined. So stay disciplined, you know, yes, we may fall short and make mistakes or whatever, you know, but uh, we get back up and make no excuses. We get back up and hey, man, righteous fall seven times, rises up again. So um, don't let no one condemn you or belittle you. Just keep on striving to become a better person. And uh, yeah, man, so always keep that in mind with everything I said. Blessings are going to come your way. Speak life, speak blessings. And the Bible also says, as a man thinks, so is he. So think, think life think blessings think positivity you know get rid of that negative mindset break free from the strongholds i have plenty of videos on that you know breaking free from the strongholds and you know really how strongholds form guys living in willful sin it's really how it forms so break free from the sin break free from the willful sin and uh you know be obedient and no demon no devil will have access into your life now of course unless god allows it just how god allowed the devil to mess with job so, you know, use wisdom to what I'm saying. But for the most part, you're going to be at peace. Love the law. Well, those who love the law will be at great peace. Those who keep their mind on him, on the most high, will be in great peace too. So no matter what happens in your life, tribulation, trial, which is going to come in your 20s, guys. There's no, make no mistake about that. Think, all right, so the video cut off because my phone is out of storage. Like, what the heck? But anyways, guys, you guys made this far, man. Thank you guys so much. I hope this message, this seed planted in your mind your souls your body your spirit 
I hope it grows to a big old tree so you guys could prosper, you guys could be successful. You guys could, um, if you guys, if that's what you desire, you know, for you ladies, get a husband, for your brothers, get a wife, so, you know, have a family so you'll be able to provide and just be the best version of yourself. I really hope this video reaches the young generation, man. If you guys can, hit the like button so more people can see this, so you can reach out to the algorithms. If you guys like the content, subscribe, share, 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 comment below if there's anything that I missed or anything that really touched you. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.